Welcome to the Smart Lab Activities How to Demo series. This demo is how to use fill in the blanks. I'm in a notebook file on a new page and I'm going to create a fill in the blanks activity. On the top menu, I select the Smart Lab icon and this will open a window and provide me a list of all the activities and I'm going to select fill in the blanks. The fill in the blanks dialog box opens. In the content field, I type the statements that I want to use for this activity. I've prepared these in advance, so I'm going to copy and paste them into this content field. Next, I want to insert the blanks. So at the bottom, I click Define Blanks and then select the words I want to use as the blanks. Over on the right, I choose the check answers option that I want to use during the class. If I select when prompted, I'll need to place all the items in the order I think is correct and then I'll have to click a button to see the answers. If I select instantly, an item bounces back to the play area right away if I put it in the wrong order. If I select don't check, the answers aren't checked during the activities. I'll select when prompted and I'll show you how this option plays. At the bottom, I click next. On this page, I select a theme and I'm going to select basic and then at the bottom I click finish. My activity builds and it will appear on the page with the statements on the top and the blank words on the bottom. Now when I present a lesson to the class the students can discuss these blanks and select the correct words for each blank. So I'm just going to start throwing these where I think they belong. Now remember when I created this activity, I selected the when prompted option to check the answers. So because I have um, placed all the words in all the blanks in what I think is the right order, the check answers button appears at the bottom. I click that and as you can see check marks appear beside items I've placed correctly and X's appear beside each item I've placed incorrectly. During the activity if the students have placed items incorrectly we can discuss it as a class, make the changes, and check answers again. So let's switch these two around. Check answers again. And now you can see all the answers are correct. If I want to change something in the activity, I open the notebook page and I click the pencil icon in the top right corner of the activities player and this opens the activities dialog box and I can make all my changes. One last note before I end this demo, you can add a game element like a buzzer, timer, or randomizer I describe these game elements and how to add game elements to a smart lab activity in this how to demo series. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos in this how to video series.